Hey guys, it was a while since we're experimenting with things, so let's try something interesting today. I also testing my new studio lights, I have a lighting panels and uh, they're really blinding so I feel like wearing uh, sunglasses but I'll try to keep my eyes wide open so uh, things look good and I hope uh, bright light will give us better crispy pictures but we'll see. Uh, looks good right now on the cam. So what I would like to do is uh, something that was on back of my mind for the longest time. I always wanted you to show how things work through my eyes so to speak. So I wanted to give you some little update on my um, Venom build or whatever I'm doing, uh, the way how I look things, not from the third uh, person point of view, so to speak. So what we'll do today, uh, I will construct um, a helmet cam and I'll try to shoot with it and we'll see if it works or not, but I hope you'll get a good, nice view of things, how they um, look basically through my eyes. Okay, so I have my hard helmet head that I'm, I'm going to use for the purpose. I also have my um, HD webcam here and uh, tape of God. Let's fix cam first. Um, so I'm thinking something, something like this should give us a good idea so looking from my perspective okay oops oh not that easy as it sounds well, let's try another piece and um, Maybe I should start with applying it here first. As you see, I'm not very good working with uh, duct tape. Oh wow, seems like it works pretty good. So when I need to route the cable on the back, I can use this little piece. Okay. Yeah, should work. And um, basically I have a laptop with the windows running here. And uh, we'll just connect USB port and um, I keep it running in my backpack that I'm going to wear and basically that's what's going to do. Okay, like this, do that and um, all right, ready to go. Okay. I hope you can see my hands. So, it should be in focus. And, uh, alright, let's start uh, fixing that radiator. So, what do we need to do here first? I would like to actually, the first thing I need to do, I need to decide that if, um, if I need to put a radiator gasket to insulate things or not. Doesn't seem that glue is uh, very strong. 
so I was afraid that if you um, attach this thing it will be really hard to take it off but it uh, doesn't seem so okay let's put a uh, fence first M4 screws, short ones. Yeah, four of those. It's my colon radiator. Ports on the back. Fan of excessive logos, but we'll see how it will work. Well, actually, not bad. That works fine. Yeah. Fine. Okay. What I need to do is don't kill my motherboard with all of this exercise. It's really heavy. Okay, move the way. Good. Can't see what's going on here. Doesn't seem to the light over now. Okay, last, last pen actually, I need um, to remove the CD-ROM first. So we can get access. You can see I painted it. Otherwise silver would look really stupid. Okay. Well, 
One thing you need to make sure is that um, when you put rubber grommets or this plastic stuff like here, that nothing is um, sticking too much inside towards the fans, otherwise they will be touching it and you can hear some noise. I'm not sure if it's the case here. It's okay, but this one is probably sticking a little bit more than it should. So, but uh, push it out if you can. If you cannot, cut it with a with a knife, something like this. All right. So this will be last fan. Shorty one, shorty two, shorty three, and shorty four. Oops, sorry, the last one. Good idea, don't tie it. Um, screws very a lot right away because if you need to um, move your fan or shroud a little bit, if you tie it up as a port, it would be impossible to move. And you actually need to do it from time to time. It's really nice um, that um, case laps can be fully disassembled and you can have a nice access to most of parts you're working on. This is um, makes things much easier. Also, this um, rotating dolly actually pretty helpful too. I got it for the purpose of making um, better videos for you and show you 360 degrees uh, view. But um, I found out throughout <coughs> uh, past few builds that um, it actually makes things much easier and more accessible and, and faster to work on. I need to test fans. Why? Because actually when I sleep them last time I didn't even check if I did it right or not. So I need to make sure they're spinning otherwise I have to disassemble the entire thing. Um, fan not touching those insulation gasket Otherwise, it will be a really annoying sound. This fan is good. This fan is good too, but what I see here is some. This stuff didn't went well. So I need to unscrew it and um, try to push it in. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this side not doesn't look as good as the other one. Oh wow, that's cool. Okay, it's all working as expected. Good deal of air going through. Not too loud. Maximum speed 2150 RPMs. Pretty impressed. I think this uh, oops, um, this gasket actually pr making pretty good job. I'm impressed with that. Usually you have case resonate much stronger 
this seems uh, working pretty good all right so let me grab um, my cover and see how much clearance I still have left all right now we can put it properly Not much space at all. So I wonder if we even can close it or not. No, I cannot. All right. So basically, push pull not going to happen unless I remove shrouds. And I think we'll stick with shrouds because shrouds give me better result, um, which probably similar to have push pull configuration at lower noise because I have only four fans instead of eight fans. And um, oh, cool! The spinning. Or oh, other choice to put slim fans in here, but I don't think it's even worth it. So I'm rather to put um, nothing. Yeah. I was complaining that this part is too tall, but now it's too short. Isn't it this funny? things work sometimes okay still pretty good decent airflow going on everything works you see already damaged things Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Everything as expected. So we need. I will just finish. Uh, put screws a little bit. I don't even think I need to put them tighter, but maybe just a little bit. And uh, and after assembly is completed. I can um, <coughs> fix the rest of my front devices because I didn't even screw them because I knew I need to remove parts out. Yeah, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and cam works really well so you could see through my eyes how I think the things when I, I work on a computer. Let me know if you like this style. I can make more tutorials from first point of view or you prefer normal way when you kind of third person watching uh, above my shoulder so to speak.